Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another 2023 M440i convertible. This one is, of course, in Brooklyn Gray because it is by far the most popular color right now. So we've got a stock piece for dealer inventory. But let's go over this one in particular. It's fairly well equipped. We'll start with the front. Hopefully you can make it out there, but there's a driving assistance professional package equipped on this particular 440 convertible. So the G23 chassis. And then we've got our standard lights. Now laser lights went away for a bit. I believe they're now back available on the convertible and coupe four series. But there was a time where they were removed and we ended up with one of them with actually free laser lights. But you notice we do not have the shadow line package. So we have the cerium gray grill as well as some other cerium gray inserts. Our fifth anniversary BMW M emblems as well. Interestingly, I've noticed that these badges are still available, even though production's been uh, open for January production. So it's still available. I don't know. I thought they were going to disappear for calendar, at the end of calendar year 2022, but it's still available. So moving over to the side, we've got the very nice 792 M wheels in cerium gray which goes with the rest of the car. And I think it actually complements Brooklyn Gray fairly well. We got our standard blue M Sport calibers as well. And of course, the 50th anniversary of BMW M emblems as the center caps as well. Got cerium Gray mirror caps as well. Our top is down right now. So you can already see it's got black perforated Sensatec interior. Outback M440i badging in Cerium Gray. And of course, Cerium Gray will disappear when the 4 Series go undergoes its LCI refresh. You can hear the grumble here. So we do have the M Performance exhaust. Now, from the outside, it's really hard to see. There's nothing sort of distinguishing about the performance exhaust on the M440s or M340s even that signify that's the performance exhaust, but you can sort of hear that grumble. So we'll try and do some revs. It won't be perfect, but basically from about the top down should be pretty good impression. So it is aggressive. It's loud. Not as loud as say like a 2020 or 20, I think the 2021 was still good to the M340i. We'll have a walk around with the top up as well. We'll take a look at the inside and go over pricing and details on a, on this particular build. So you notice the mirror caps are not mirror wing caps. These will change, of course, with the LCI. So here's our interior back seats. A little bit of sort of like contrast stitching going on in some cases. Seats are nice and comfortable. Standard M Sport seats that you get on everything else. But with Sensatec, at least for the 4 Series and 3 Series, you do not get side bolsters. You still have driver lumbar support. Do not have that on the passenger side. But, you know, fairly decent seats. There's no surprises here. Live cockpit professional in the M440i convertible. Got your emblem there, driver attention camera, because we do have driving assistance professional. So all the buttons are over here. Now, with I drive seven vehicles, you have distance control here on either side here. Otherwise, with I drive eight vehicles, you have to go into the screen to get to the settings for distance. See, we have the parking assistance package up here. Otherwise, I drive seven. You got the aluminum Tetragon trim. I think it looks pretty good. Center console area, gear selector, driving modes down here. No adaptive, does not have the adaptive M suspension, which is an option in the vehicle. All right, so let's go over pricing. So starting price, the M440i convertible, $66,250. The metallic paint, another 650 
Sensatec is included driving assistance pro package another 1700 700 bucks for the parking assistance package premium package for another 1800 the 792 m wheels which is my preferred wheel on the 3m4 series 600 bucks 200 bucks for the emblems digital key deletion credit of 80 bucks now, now if you do get wireless charging you do get the digital key back just keep that in mind if you're going to order 875 for the Harman Kardon sound system. Another 120 bucks for the wheel locks. 2500 for the M performance exhaust. All told MSRP of 66,000. All told MSRP of $76,310. So obviously fairly hefty in the price tag range, but that's what you're getting now at the 4 series convertible. So still a significant gap between it and the M4 convertible. It can only be had in MX Drive. But I do have the vehicle in Sport Plus. I have the top down. We'll do a little bit of revs, so hopefully you guys can make this out. All right, and we're gonna put the top up. As it's going through its stuff here, I'll try and hop in the back seat as well. Show it what the spacing looks like with the top up. So I think roughly about 15-ish seconds. Now it's going to roll up the windows as well. And it's done. All right, so get in the back seat of the convertible. So room just for two passengers in the rear because you have that sort of protrusion there with the cup holders in the middle. All right, so get the seat into my position. So you are compromised with leg room and knee room. This is where I sit and there's not a lot of room left over. Of course, the big issue is headroom here. Uh, backseat passengers will be compromised as long as they're at least average height or a little bit above, of course. Uh, what I find is the shoulder room, because this back of the portion of the car sticks out, protrudes a lot into the cabin space, you're sitting basically offset from the driver or passenger, and you'll feel a little bit squished, uh, but I think with the top down, no issues there with headroom, it'll be a little bit uncomfortable. All right, so we're back at the outside of the vehicle. We'll take one more walk around our M440i convertible in Brooklyn Gray. So of course, powered by the B58 inline six, three liter displacement, turbocharged engine, 382 horsepower, 369 torques. So very powerful engine, perfect for cruising and one of BMW's best engines. And a classic engine, okay? Basically, it's an inline six, it's what BMW is known for. But that's it for a quick tour around yet another four series convertible. And we'll see you at the next video.